Let's figure out what 6.3 divided by 0.25 is. And when I look at something like this, the first thing that I think about is, well, is there a way that I can rewrite this? So instead of dividing it by 25 hundredths, instead of dividing it by 0.25, I could divide it by a whole number, maybe 25. And so how do I turn 25 hundredths into 25? Well, if I multiply it by t if I multiply by 10 once, then the decimal moves one spot to the right. And if I multiply it by 10 twice, then I'm going to move two spots to the right. And 25 hundredths is going to become 25. I multiplied by 10 twice, which is the same thing as multiplying by 100. Now, of course, I can't only do it to 0.25. That would change the value of this entire expression. I also have to do it to 6.3. If I move the decimal to the right twice over here to get a whole number, I got to move the decimal twice to the right over here. So let's see, if I move it to the right once, I get 63. So that's one multiplication by 10. And now I want to move it to the right again. And you might say, wait, wait, there, there, there doesn't look like there's any other digit here that I can move to the right of. And we just have to remind ourselves that 6.3, well, that's going to be the same thing as 6.30. Or we could actually add as many zeros as we want to the end of this and not change the value. It's still 6.3. 6 and 3 tenths is the same thing as 6 and 30 hundredths. So now I can move the decimal one more spot to the right. And so I'm multiplying by 10 again, and it becomes 630. So 6.3 divided by 0 0.25 is the same thing as 630 divided by 25. Let me do that again, because this is really uh, the, the tricky part or the artful part when you're dividing decimals. If I were to write 0 0.25 being divided into, being divided into 6.3. Let me do it. 6, 6.3. Now what I care about is moving this decimal to the right far enough so that this becomes a whole number. I don't have to move it any further, just far enough so that this becomes a whole number. And then I have to move this the same number of times to the right. But the goal is to make this a whole number, not to make the 6.3 a whole number, although that is going to happen for this particular case. So if I move it two spaces to the right, so 1, 2. 0 0.25 becomes 25, and then 6.3 becomes, move it one space, two spaces to the right, it becomes 630. And so let me, let me clarify that. Let me just clear all of this stuff away, out of the way to just make that clear what I just did. So we don't have to deal with all of this messiness when we're actually doing our long division now. And so this one over here, let me erase all of this business. And we are ready to do some, we're ready to do some, some long division. All right. So now this is just straightforward dividing a two digit number into a three digit number. And so we could say, well, 25 goes into 6 zero times, so let's keep going. 25 goes into 63. Let's see, 2 times 25 is 50. 3 times 25 is 75, so that's too much. So we want to go 2 times. 2 times 25 is going to be 50. And we can subtract. Or if you didn't know 2 times 25 was going to be 50, you could have said 2 times 5 is 10. Carry the 1 or regroup the 1. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. So we got 50. And now we subtract. And we get 3 minus 0 is 3. 6 minus 5 is 1. And now we bring down the next digit. We can bring down this is 0. And we could say 25, and let me scratch this out so I don't confuse myself later. 25 goes into 130 how many times? Let's see, 25 times 4 is 100. 25 times 5 is 125. 25 times 6 would be 150, so that's too big. So I'm going to go 5 times. So 5 times. And I write, it's very important to keep track of my places right here. I brought down the 0 to make the 13 into 130. So when I say 25 goes into 135 times, I write it above the 0. I write it right above the 0 right over there. And then 5 times 25, 5 times 5. We already know what it is, but I'll just figure it out. 5 times 5 is 25. Regroup the 2. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12. And now we can, now we can subtract. And you might know offhand, well, yes, 130 minus 125 is going to be 5. Or if you like, you could do a little regrouping. You could make this, you could take a 10 from there and then put the 10 in the 1's place, and this becomes 10. 10 minus 5 is 5.
Now, we aren't done yet. We want to divide this completely. So we can bring down another 0. We can bring down another 0. And I'm picking an appropriate color to, for the next. So I'll use, well, I already used the green once. We'll use yellow. So once again, I can bring down another 0. But I have to be very careful here. I can't just, I can't just throw a 0 right over there. That's going to turn 630 into 6,300. I have to be very particular say, no, no look, look. This next 0 I'm going to put, that's going to be after the decimal. Now, 630 is the same thing as 630.0. And if I'm going to add a decimal there, I want to throw the decimal right above it. You need to be very careful with that. But now we're ready to start bringing down the 0. So let's bring down this 0. And we have a 50. How many times does 25 go into 50? Let me scratch this out so we don't confuse ourselves later. 25 goes two times into 50. Two times 25 is, in fact, 50. Is, in fact, 50. And so now we can subtract. And we now have a remainder of 0. And there's nothing left to bring down other than zeros. And we have a remainder of 0. So we are done dividing completely. You take 630 divided by 25, it's 25.2. Or if you look at our original problem, if you look at our original problem, which was 6.3 divided by 0 0.25, that also is 25.2. So this is also going to be 25.2. Let me rewrite it. Let me rewrite it. So our original problem was 6.3 divided by 0 0.25, which we just figured out, we just figured out is 25 and 2 tenths. And we're done.